some of the puppies open their eyes. Look at the gorgeous eyes. Hello, babies. Hello, babies. Look at you. Look at you. Sweep your head. Sweep your heads. <laughs> Just starting to open their eyes. Look. Oh, my goodness. Come here, babies. Wobbly, wobbly, wobbly. There we go. Look at you. Yes, we're looking at you. Yes. Oh, pretty eyes. Pretty eyes. Hey. <laughs> Look at you, sleepy head. Look at you, you got your eyes open. Hmm? And what about you? What about you? Hey? You're a chopper. I'm doing really, really well. Gorgeous puppies. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I just love them. Well, good afternoon and welcome. It's Jilly Q from a Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia, coming to you. <laughs> there you go, just kiss and roll with it. Uh, yeah, coming to you with a dip, a quick and simple dip painting. So something a little bit different for you to try. I am using the Montmartre poster paints. I think you call them tempura, tempura or tempura paints. They're post paint and they're mixed with my normal pouring medium of the 70% clear glue, 30% water, and I have added a few drops of the Helmar silicon in each cup. I'm going to dip one painting to the next. So as you can see, my messy background there underneath was the previous dip. Uh, extravaganza that I'll have which I'll probably put that on after this video so please excuse my mess but I want to um, not keep using as much puppy pee pads and so forth I've mixed this paint yeah with the pouring medium that and the recipe will be in the drop down box underneath this video so I'm just going to coat that canvas first with that's actually a navy it's not black, it's navy. One thing I probably should be doing while I'm doing this is doing my edges, but um, I didn't. I'm doing a voiceover because I wasn't going to um, actually use this footage, but then when I seen how nice the particular dips came out, I thought, oh my goodness, I have to share it. So hence that I wasn't so prepared only to just turn my video on and go, doodling around on my own as I do in my um, studio so there you go just coated the one canvas so yeah it probably would be a good idea to do the sides while you have it at this stage I just want to thank you all for your lovely comments you've been sending to me and for all the new subscribers that have been subscribing to my channel. I am over 73,000 at present and I am absolutely ecstatic and thank you guys. So this was the paints. Some of them I mixed up and put them in the little um, squeezy bottles. So these bottles, those particular ones were from Love Life. Uh, but I also get other ones from the Capriol Shabby Chic. So there will be a link in the drop down box to these little squeezy bottles. Some bottles are just reused from containers that I've had glue in or painting, as long as they've got those uh, nicer lens that you can use them to squeege out, squeege out with. I hope you all enjoyed my puppy cam just keeping you up to date with people that know and follow me of the puppy's journey and of course if you don't like 
the puppy can then you can just speed that bit up just fast forward it i think i just had one lady complain that she didn't want to watch puppies on pouring videos she wants to watch pouring so it was very boring pouring to watch puppies but there i get 99 percent comments from people that love to see the puppies and things that are going on in my life as well as the painting so that one lady i am not going to um obviously bow down to one person when i have 99 percent of other people quite happy but you get these you get this in life don't you can't please everybody so this is just like little circle motions that i'm doing um, on this particular particular dip so it's something just a little bit different from for me to see how they came out um, but they're a nice bright uplifting colors as you see all the ones i'm using are all pre-made poster paints with that pour uh, with that same pouring medium and just a few drops of silicone in each um, mixture those are the uh <laughs> i'm showing you that i had a shaky hand <laughs> but it, it looked shaky but i'm not really shaky shaky stevens that's what it seemed like so yeah i'm still sort of testing out what colors will work and the and the actual consistency what will work in these particular kind of dips that coming out of these squeegee containers squeezy bottles whatever you call them so they're all colors in the montmartre uh, poster paint so these paints are very economical for beginners or people that are just on a budget because they're probably less than six dollars for 500 mils of paint and then of course when you add that to your uh, add your pouring um, pouring medium to them they stretch a long way very long way i don't know i'm going overboard with that green wiggly bits stop it Jilly, stop enough <laughs> too much it kind of looks like a big giant ant now i'm looking at it from this perspective looks like an ant carrying some snails or something i hope you've all had a great weekend i hope to probably put this video on sunday night so you can it's going to be a quickie so hopefully you just have another little another little something else that might add to your repertoire of things to try or you just sitting down relaxing enjoying me paint <laughs> thumbs up julie she gave you a thumbs up <laughs> oh dear what am we gonna do now there you go one thing I have forgotten to do, which I realise watching this already, is I'm going to press, you know, just gently press it all down, which is all good and dandy. But what I could have done is actually t flip my canvas over so the other paint transfers onto the canvas even, even better than the um, first time, actually. So, yeah, if you flip your canvas and then do that pressing it may work even better but i'm pretty happy with the results that this is going to produce so um, i certainly did have a squealing moment myself in the art room when i did flip because i was so excited that i it's it's kind of dramatic and delicately dramatic if you get my drift so here we go i'm pulling them and this kind of vacuuming sticking together but here you go oh ah, it doesn't actually look so dramatic on these but they were gorgeous it, wait until i do me fiddling and and um editing and me nice little bits there and you will see how magic these two particular turn out i look nothing there but you must wait and see hopefully it does show it further along in the video if not you have to look at the end photos 
because why my camera doesn't pick up the details on this is a bit of a shame. I did do, I think I do get my tiny, teeny, just an ordinary size balloon that I put a little bit of water in just underneath the tap and uh, knot it. It just adds a little bit of weight to the balloon to be able to do some balloon, teeny tiny balloon kisses. It just helps bring out, there you go, look, smiley face and all. Just brings out some of those colours. It will do, I promise, it will do. <laughs> Yeah, I need to um, yeah bring those colours out to you. They are it's actually gorgeous close up. So just wait for my end photos. It's a really simple kind of one with negative space, which is always nice to do um, this acrylic art with some negative space as well for a change. And especially having two of them that turned out just so pretty. Oh, there you go, I'm really happy. But I did, after this, I turned this video on, off. I did some more um, little balloons here, there and everywhere. There you go, a bit close. Oh, that's a little bit better, isn't it? Oh, they were so pretty though. They really were pretty, pretty. They came out with a few more cells after it dried. There you go, nice and bright. It was beautiful. So I hope you give this one a try. Please give me a thumbs up and a comment. Let me know what you think. So happy for you to join me again. Until next time, bye for now, guys. Stay safe.